Good evening, everybody. We are in Lisbon, New Hampshire. Today, the Lisbon Pas Panthers host the Profile Patriots. We are kicking off Flu Media's coverage of the 2022 varsity basketball season right here on the Flume Stream Entertainment Network. Good to see everybody. Good, after good evening. I'm your host, Greg Williams, and joining me today here on the production table is Sean Healy. How you doing, Sean? Greg, I'm doing fantastic. We just had a great opener with the girls. Now it's time to turn it over to the boys. So we got Profile coming in here against Lisbon. I'm excited to see these uh, boys squads take the floor for uh, what, you know, for Lisbon is their home opener, was what we talked about earlier, trying to get that rust out, transitioning from sports to uh, other sports to basketball. Profile's coming in. They've already won a game, so uh, they've kind of got the uh, kind of maybe the kinks a little bit out of the way there, but they, uh, they have two main scores that we're going to look at tonight. Josh Robbie had 31 points last game and Alex Leslie had 18. So I have a feeling a lot of the profile offense is going to be going through those two. Yeah, and there's only a couple of seniors on that team. So pretty young squad, kind of like the girls team. Um, so it's interesting to see how they get how they um, get started. Do the starters. Let's do the starters, man. All right. uh, who do we got starting for? Let me try to get the starters in here. We got starting for the profile. Jackson Clough, forward, sophomore. You know, Josh Roby, just talked to him, junior, guard. Carson Roby, junior, number 11. And number 12, Riley Plant, another junior. Alex Leslie, number 21, a junior forward. That's your starters for Coach Mitchell Roy and the Profile Patriots. Lisbon, New Hampshire, at number two, we have uh, is that Lucas French, guard. Yep. Who did we get there? Who's that second one? Number five, that looks like, and that's Sean Hartland. Darian McDonald, number 10, he's a junior. Carson Colby, sophomore, number 14. Number 40, Hayden Moody, senior, forward. And Carl, Coach Mark Locke is the coach for the Lisbon Panthers. And it's, again, we're going to see a younger squad, too. We have a lot more, uh, you know, some eighth graders out there for Lisbon. And it's just like the girls. They're kind of getting that young, the youth movement in early. Yeah, and they look to be uh, sizably shorter as well, not as deep. The bench doesn't look that deep. Looks like they have only like, two or three players with the... Um, Profile Patriots bench looks substantially deeper. Absolutely. And before we get going, I want to say a shout out to the Moneyball too. Tonight, we are happy to have El Burrito's Restaurant Tequila Bar as our Moneyball partner. They're adding an extra 10 bucks for every Moneyball scored this evening, up to 100. El Burrito's brings bold, delicious, and made from scratch Tex Mex and American cuisine, tons of flavor, and just as much excitement. Nestled into the historic downtown Littleton, they offer three gorgeous dining rooms, outside patio, tequila bar, open Wednesday through Saturday, 12 to 9, and Sunday, 12 to 5. Thank you, Alburitos. And we had two of those Papa Wands scored in the first game. Let's see how many we can get this game. Yeah, let's rack it up. Bob Nelson, legendary Bob Nelson, is going to throw the tip off. Bob Nelson, Jeff Kelly. That's going to go to the Patriots. Patriots get the first tip. Josh Robbie. He's the one you want to keep an eye on there. Big game, last game, scored the 31 points. Beautiful feed. Nice rebound Good by back. Yeah. Yep, Alex Leslie. Put back, rebound, and in for the two points. Two to nothing profile. Sean Hartland bringing the ball up the court. Sean's going to drive to the hoop and then kind of kick it back out. Thought otherwise there. Some bigs down there for profile. Turnover and kind of a steal by number 11, Kate Carson Robbie. I had to make sure I'm saying Robbie, Robbie. Yeah, probably uh, Robbie. Yeah, Robbie. Good pass by Leslie. That's a great finish by Riley yeah. Plant. It's uh, Roby. 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 Roby, Roby, Roby. I got gotcha. you. 
John Hartland bring the ball up. Yeah, they're going to have a little bit of trouble with the size because they got some big boys down low. For there sure. You go. There's Leslie giving it off. Another. That's the second Leslie to Roby. Riley Plant there oh, finished Riley that. Plant. Yeah, Riley Plant finished that one off. But yep. Yeah. So it's, Leslie just got two assists for two layups. Yeah. And you see again, Josh Roby is one of the guys that's probably the the, high, the focus of this whole offense for a profile. Yeah. Kind of getting out to the quick start again, kind of like the girls' team did. You know, a little bit. They had a size advantage, and they just uh, w weren't making the turnovers, and uh, like Lisbon was, and and they're they're capitalizing on it, right? So we got that kind of six nothing lead, similar to what it was the first game. Yeah, yeah, and girls kept it in, kept it in play for a quarter, but slowly got away from the third. Lisbon ball underneath. Carson Colby in, Sean Hartland. Looks like they're in a man-to-man. -man. Yep. Profile. I'm making a move, kind of trips and out of bounds, another turnover. So we got to limit those turnovers, Lisbon. I mean, yeah, Lisbon wants to limit those. Keep the ball out of uh, Profile's hands. Profile's been, look, looks pretty solid so far on the offensive glass or offensive end. Yeah, good ball movement. Looked at the money ball there, no go. Leslie, great pass out to Roby. Oh, just missed it, almost had the money ball. Good hustle play. Yeah. Carson Roby. Keeping it alive. Josh Roby's gonna inbound it. Leslie. He Leslie, throws. great strong move. Straight at it. Yep, right at it, up and in. Six minutes left in the first. Eight to zero profile. Nice pick by yeah. Josh. Up and in. I wonder how many of those 31 points he had last game were off of that particular move right there with the whole steal pick and take it to the yeah. hoop and lay it in. He's a pretty confident kid. You can see he's, he's dialed in right now. Seems like it. Just suffocating defense right now by profile. A shot, but it was a little bit of a rush shot by Carson Colby. Rebound, Josh Roby brings it up. Money ball. There money it is. Ball. We got another money ball. That's number three today. That's the first one for this game. Another pop of one for Alberitos. Let's rack these up. Absolutely. That was Carson Roby. Another steal. Another steal by Josh Roby. Just talked about that. Up and in. Yes, sir. 15-0, I'm thinking I'm looking for a timeout. Time out. I was just soon. about yeah. to say that. I was going to say yeah. Locke's probably going to be looking for a timeout pretty soon. Another pick. If they don't get a bucket here. A turnover here, not quite. Out to number two, and that was... Uh, I don't even have number two on there for me. You got that number? No, I don't, I don't see it on here. No. Uh, he's, He's starter for Lisbon, so he's probably, it might be uh, Sean, not Sean Hartland. It might be Darian McDonald. Let's see if we can find out here. Inbound pass, back over, over to 14, which is Carson Colby. Over to Hartland. I'm trying to get into the big man. Yeah, Moody. Turn over there. Is that Leslie? Yeah, gets fouled by Hartland. Leslie had kicked it out to Carson Roby, but that one's going to be on the floor. Got a couple subs that are going to be checking in for profile. Leslie inbounds, gets the ball Another back. Money ball. Another money ball. Just missed. Great offensive rebound. That was Riley Plant. Put that one back in. 17 to nothing. 17 0. Profile doesn't have, I mean, uh, Lisbon's got a short bench, too. They only have three. I wonder if they have yeah. some maybe kids that are sick. I know some stuff's going around. Profile said they had one or two kids that weren't here today because they were under the weather. Get another steal. Great another steal. Yeah, another steal and a put in. 
That was Jackson Clough. Darian McDonald brings it up. Over to Hartland, out of bounds. And that's going to be Profile's ball. We got number 22 and number 20 or 31 checking into the game right now. It's Caleb Wakeham and Bodie DeMarzo. Leslie, Leslie going to the hole. Yep. Kicks it out. Passes it down. Nice, nice. move. Yeah. Great move by Caleb Wakeham just coming off the bench. Wakeham dishes it off to number 12, Riley Plant, and Riley gets the foul. I like the way these guys are slicing through the lane. For sure. First ball is up and in. Again, this is a young team like we talked about earlier too. A lot of sophomores and juniors. So this team is going to be stacked for next year as well. Yeah, for sure. And he, he hits, hits both. both. Yep. Yeah, gets the roll. Tyler Lino checked into the game. Didn't see who he came in for. He must. Oh, he came in for um, that Colby. It's gonna be Liz or Patriot profile ball. Yeah, a little frustration there. Yep. Again, first game for Lisbon. Profile already had a game. I don't know what the final score of that game was, but I'm sure they. Uh, Played well. They look like a very well coached, solid team. A lot of athleticism, good yes. ball movement, totally pounding agree. the boards. Yep. Totally. I was going to say the same thing. <clears throat> there's, that, there's a disparity in a little bit in some of the athletics. It looks like the profile team plays a lot together. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the offseason, they're probably playing in that park in, um, in Bethlehem. Yeah. It's a nice park there that they probably, these guys probably run a lot of ball there. Got another sub coming into the game here for Profile. Leslie's going to go out. And we have number five, Everett Locke, is going to be checking in. I don't think he's related to Coach Mark Locke. <laughs> no, right, he probably not. Be. Yeah, you never know. You know, up the court. He's going to kick it out to number two. Down to Moody. Yeah, they're trying to get it into Moody. I'm sure that's kind of the plan. Get it into Moody down low. There's not a lot happening up top, so why not go to the big man down low, see what he can make happen. Yeah, absolutely. Number 22 is checking in. Now we got s Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, now we that have six, six players, players on the court. <laughs> six white jerseys. Moody's going to check out. And that only leaves two pen players on their bench. Right. <laughs> and Zach Worsler checking in. Swarming defense. Yeah, yeah no, really, off. an aggressive. And speed. He just That's blew a right nice by. finish by number 22, Caleb Wakeham. Do we know how Profile finished last year? I think they did well. I don't really know. Yeah, I wasn't I know sure. That, I, I'm, I'm just curious sure they to. had a strong season. There. Yeah. I know a couple of young men that played on that team, and they were a good squad last year. Well, they must have lost some seniors, because I don't see any seniors on the roster here. You got a money ball put up. Yeah. No it's, good. It's no good there. He's going to try gonna again. Do another one here. Oh. Roby and then out of bounds. Got another sub coming in. For Coach Roy and the Profile Patriots. Yeah, so Brody DeMarzo went out. And who do we got coming in? Is that number five right there? Yeah, number five, Ever Lock. Lock. Had him. Number 13, who was yeah. out there? There we go, Danny Burnell. Again, folks, this is our first game of the season, too, so <laughs> we'll, get, yeah. we'll get a little more fluid as the games go on, but uh, a lot of fun being here. There's a money, money ball, ball, another one. Fourth money ball for the day, right? Yeah. Another Papa Juan, courtesy of Alberito's Restaurant, Littleton, New Hampshire. Get down to Alberitos and buy some buy some food because yeah. they're going to go broke with all these money balls right. out here. We're a little light on them in the first game. We're going to make up for it here. Yeah. This first period, we already got two. 
Moody sat down. He had a drink of water. Now he's going to stand up. He's coming right back in. So they're not going to let him sit on the bench very long. He nice. got a little breather. Great ball movement again. Yeah, that was a really great pass underneath. Everett Locke went up there. Just couldn't finish. It's a strong take. Darian McDonald. I like uh, Caleb Wakeham's really got good vision. Yeah. I, he just threw a, he threaded a needle right there. It was a great pass. Who's been struggling to find their first points? Moody's going to be coming in for the shooter, so McDonald. We'll see if McDonald could get Lisbon on the board for the first point of the 2022 season here. Nope. Wakefield with the rebound. I like his poise. Yeah, it's the great ball movement really is. Yeah. No selfish players. If the shot's not there, pass it along. Run the system. Run the offense. Run the offense. Eventually, you're going to get there. Great yep. steal. We got two. a layup. Oh, and a big uh, block. Wakefield came from. So, he's so fast. Yep. Yeah, Wake and big block. Moody's going to come in for McDonald now. And with a 28-point lead. Um, Again, we got six players on the court for Lisbon. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of confusion. Yeah. Oh, the 28-point lead, they're sitting a lot of their starters, letting some of these guys get some playing time. Yep. It's a long season, so. Yeah. The more you can get some of the players that don't get all the playing time reps, the better you're going to be when it comes down to crunch time. You need those players to perform, right? Yeah, In injuries, yep. long games. Absolutely. Yep. You know, get the reps in. Illness. Some coaches will just play their starters and ride them no matter what the score is, but I think that's good to get those players that you're going to count on later on down the road when it really matters to get yeah. in there and to get some uh, some serious minutes. That's a great, great finish by Wakeham. Yeah, He's Wakeham's had a great, great first half or first quarter. It's all actually it's only the first quarter. <laughs> Feels like the first half. It does. And we're going to a break. We'll be back in a few. I used to think college was for other people, but after a lot of hard work, and thanks to an incredible support system, now I know I'm exactly where I need to be. What does joy look like? At Santa's Village, it looks a lot like this. Visit a world of pure joy that's closer than you think. Where it's always the season for smiles, for laughs, for family, for reindeer roller coasters and cookies. For a day packed with so much fun, you'll know exactly what joy looks like. Santa's Village, pure joy, family style. And we are back. 30 point lead for the uh, Profile Patriots. Tough start. It was a tough start. You can definitely tell the difference in, um, you know, just the. Uh, the amount of skill and ability that profile has you know they've, they've just uh, they've, they're playing like a well-tuned machine they're playing like that they've been playing this is like their fifth or sixth game and not their second yeah i totally agree and lisbon's having a little bit of trouble a little communication they're they're i don't know they're kind of a short squad they only have uh again they got six players out there so they're having a little bit of confusion yeah getting acclimated to the beginning of the season first game They'll figure it out. Yeah, it's a long season, too. So, again, like we talked about with the girls, just keep running the system. Keep running your plays. Uh, work with your teammates. And just to get that synergy, you know, going. You know what I mean? Yeah. What Coach Cole will say, play hard, have fun. Play hard and have fun. Yeah. Wake him again. He's having a big game right now. I think we had a stat uh, that Roby was 0 for, what was it, 0, 0 for 5? 5. Yeah, from 0 3. 5 so. from the 3. Yeah. The, the last game he had 31. He's, but, try, uh, he's, he's trying to bankrupt the Alberitos. Right, but, yeah, uh, poor Johnny's going to be calling us up at halftime and say, cut it <laughs> off, shut it down, shut her down. The Papa Wands are gone. Wake them to Leslie. Nice pass. What a great finish. They just seem to be a step ahead, a little like um, just a little bit ahead on every step. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, almost a turn over there. Yep. Got a feel for the kids. They're out there. They're trying hard. I know it's yeah. the first game, so I hope they don't get discouraged. They just got to keep playing basketball. It's a fun game. Good dish. That's a great Good dish. dish down low. Just a very um, unselfish team profile. Yep. Good hands. Good vision. 
Guys are keeping their head up and seeing everything that's going on. Big man setting the pick up top. It's like profiles just, in the zone. You can't right? get anything into the hoop, right? I mean, their their defense is. Oh, that's a, there you go. Just as I say that, Moody, <laughs> what a great pass by Sean Hartland. He showed me wrong. Well, they had everybody out on the zone. They did, on yeah. The zone. They had everybody out towards the uh, towards the right side. Leslie over to Clough. Clough gets the ball back on a kind of a handoff from Wakeham. Couldn't finish there. Tyler Lino. Wakeham giving so him again, a little he's, ground. He's yep. down down low. What, what's yep. happening is when when their guard goes down, he's got two defenders. He's and he's leaving the, the big man right on the block, so there's nobody there to defend him. No, yeah, for one, sure. One of those guys has to drop down or, or get some weak side help. Wake him to Leslie. Great movement without the ball. And great vision. A couple more subs getting ready to check in for Lisbon. I'm Lisbon. I keep exploiting that down the side over here. Give it yeah, to until this they, guy. yeah, until they stop until it. Until they figure it out. Yep. It was funny. I went over to get the um, kind of the, the starting lineup and stuff from the coach from Profile, yep. which was Mitchell Roy. <clears throat> and I said, wow, I'm really shocked that you know all these players' numbers. He goes, well, I'm the coach. And you look at him, I, I thought he was one of the players. Yeah, he's, you know what I mean? He's, he's a young, young guy, guy, but, yeah, he's got a great, great squad from what I've seen here in the first, you know, quarter and a half. Yeah, they're a tight team. They're playing really good team basketball. Yeah. As I you say that, they're just dishing off. For sure. Teams. And I was a little embarrassed, and I said, well, it's still impressive that you know all your teammates' numbers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're doing everything right. They're, they're, it's unselfish ball. It right? is. Yep. So nobody's, nobody's lightening up and. They're getting four or five passes every time they come down. Right. So that's what you want to see. And they're getting good defense, good pick. Great defense, Leslie. And Leslie goes up strong and he gets fouled. And we've seen, I think, three players now play the point up there for profile, and all three of them have had picks coast to coast. They're just great defensive uh, yeah. ball players. Couldn't capitalize on the first one. Or the second. Got a violation. Hold it on 31, a push from behind. All right. Oh. Yep. There you go. Yep. So again, if I'm if I'm Lisbon, I'm going down to that corner. And I'm going to drop the big man down low on the blocks. And if 31 comes out to help, which I'm sure his coach probably told him, stay in right, your ground yeah. down there. Yeah, enough of that. They saw that. So they don't want him going out to meet the uh, guard on the outside. No. So there he is. He, he, good job. Right. They that adjusted. was where before where they pinched up and then he yeah. were able to adjust. Yeah. yeah. So now they try to feed it to him. They know it's coming. Right. That's the other thing, too. Now at this point, you know that pass is coming. Yeah. Great crossover, move, pass, Wake kick em. out. Another money, money ball. ball for Wakeham. Another Papa Juan for Alberitos. We're at six. Total of three for the game. Three for the game. That's great. Four. Yeah. Three or four. Uh, today we got three, three in this game. Perfect. Right? Pulls up to $107. All right. Another turn over there. Profile is going to do some wholesale subbing now. And I have four players coming. We've got 13, 12, 5, and 10. So it's Josh Roby's back in. 12, Riley Plant, Danny Burnell, and Everett Locke. And to keep him Wakeham in also. He's having a and great Wakeman. game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's been great. Yep. Curious at halftime to see what his numbers look like. But I think he's... Yeah. Uh, and he's one of the guys that wasn't really on that stat sheet for the last game. I mean, he played the one game. He had two points. So I'll be curious to see. Uh, just shows you the depth of the squad. Yeah. Where if there's one game where one player doesn't step up, you have other guys that are picking up that that slack. It's a great block by Wakeham, too. I know. He's having a great game. He's doing you, everything. You think maybe maybe the coach is telling him, you know, giving these guys a little bit of a, um, a rest, some of, the, some of the guys that had the big points and big stats in the last game, yep. telling Wakeham, hey, this is your time right now. Let's see what you can do a little bit. Let's run the offense through you. Let's give you uh, a little more control. Absolutely. Looks like Wakeham just checked yeah, out. We pulled have him out right as I said three. <laughs> I know, right? 
I don't have a number or a name for number three, but I'm assuming that's probably a JV guy that's coming up. <clears throat> I could be wrong because he coach did say you get a couple that were under the weather. Yeah. So they're in the one. Here we go. Got a fun little setup here. Right down the so middle. There you go, yeah. There two of them down wide the open, yep. Yeah. So you Beautiful. got one defender, you got two guys running at him, he breaks off and hits the second Yeah, guy. you almost could tell it was coming. You called yeah. it. Got another timeout here. Got Coach Locke's going to call timeout. He's going to take a full timeout now. With that being said, let's just say this month Sports Talk comes back with all new basketball episodes. Join Matt and Brent as they talk hoops and coaches and review games and talk about basketball across the state. Visit stream.flume.com for episode listings and watch exclusively on our Roku channel. Love that show. Love those guys. <laughs> it's great. It is great. Yeah. Passionate about high school sports, man. Love to see it. We've got 3.30 here left in the second, and we have 43-4. to four. So, uh, again, we've talked about profile this whole game. They've been aggressive, athletic, um, very great on defense. Uh, they, they pass the ball well, a lot of ball movement, um, sharing the ball. Everyone's yeah. got shots and uh, just a well-oiled machine so far here in game number two. I don't think they have a lot of turnovers either. No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I, I think key. you're right. Yeah. A lot of convert. They, they're converting a lot of, a lot of uh, opportunities. Patriots have three fouls. Panthers have four. Reminder, this Friday, December 9th, we'll be back home in Lancaster in the land of Sparta as the D3 White Mountains Regional Girls host Belmont tip off at 6.30. Is that the game that you're doing? I'm doing it. Perfect. I'll be there. That's yeah, awesome. I can't wait to do that. All right. Number two is going to bring the ball in again. Again, they've got to work that side over there and try to get it to Moody, which they yeah. do. Nice. Nice defensive nice play. Little yeah. Hook. Yeah. That was a nice shot. Yeah. Danny Burnell held his ground and was able to pull the rebound down. Good ball movement. As Roby just couldn't get it through there. There's Roby again. Roby. Is he going to go for the three? He's going to look for the pop of one. He needs it. Oh, oh, oh just almost. missed it. Great Good rebound. Great offensive rebound. That was Riley Plant. Getting back back in. out to Roby. Roby. Strong move strong. to the hoop. So yep. strong. Very strong. They're playing really good for a young squad, you know. They're yeah. playing like like a group of seniors yeah it's almost like you said it's almost like a group of kids that's probably played together you yeah. know all year round whether it be AU hoops or whatever program that they have that's a two if it goes and when I say they're playing like seniors I don't mean like me right oh yeah you and I both like year old man <laughs> exactly yeah. playing like see that we just talked about like the the, the vision the court vision yeah. right I yeah mean, that was amazing uh Roby Great he sees pass. it, but his guys are in the right spot at the right time. Absolutely. And that's why they're up uh, 43 points. Trying to get down to the big man again. Yep. He's not he's not doing enough down there to get well, over. The other thing I noticed, too, is they keep coming up to that same side every time, right? They're, they're, right. Just, they're focusing on this, this one side of the court. Whereas profile, you see a lot of ball movement. They're spreading the court out. It doesn't matter where. And there, that was a great, great pass. Another great pass. Money ball. Oh. Just missed there. Got the tip by Locke. Over to Burnell. Burnell gave it up. It's back over to Locke. Back to Plant. Here comes the money ball. Oh, just missed that one just again, missed. and then the rebound. He's going to go again. Yep. Yeah. He might give him another one. Plant gets another rebound. Roby wants it. He wants Roby. to make his first. Ooh. Oh, it just misses. And a good rebound, a good strong rebound by Moody. End up being a turnover. And Roby's got it back. They're going to set it back up again. Oh, they're going to go right down good. to good Locke, work. and Locke's going to finish it. We've got 40 seconds here left in the half. Do have a sub waiting to come in for Lisbon. 
and move without the ball if you're Lisbon. They did that just as I said. They were only coming up one side of the court. Now they switched now it to the other yeah. one. <laughs> they heard you. They did. And now they're loading Still up on the Still right it's overloaded, side. yeah, overloaded on that right side. They really want to get Moody the ball. Every time that someone gets the ball, they're looking at Moody. Yeah. That's great. Well, that's the only points there. they have. Right, and he got the right. rebound there and he's, just couldn't finish. I think he's got four points down there, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, we almost had a quick pass down there. Here well. we go. Another one for the money ball. Hey, stepped out of bounds. Stepped on the line. All right, at the end of the half, we have profile 49, Lisbon 4. Whew. Man. And we're going to go to a break. We'll see you in a few. Just like you means when I walk into the bank, I feel like home. I feel like this is, this is home. It's a family. It's just small like me, but it's good like me. Just like you, I know I have the support of the bank, and my clients have the support of the bank. And to me, that just has extreme value. Centilli Family Dentistry is located in beautiful Littleton, New Hampshire, offering modern dental care with a small town feel. When you visit our office, you can expect Dr. Santilli and the entire dental team to provide you with the comprehensive, personalized, and gentle care that you deserve. Our goal is to work with you to determine your dental needs and deliver the best treatment options available. We believe that being an informed patient is essential in achieving the highest level of oral health care. We look forward to working with you to achieve this goal. Call today to schedule an appointment. Covering you at home, at work, and at play, George M. Stevens Insurance is the only local agency to offer personal and commercial insurance, as well as health, life, and financial services. With offices throughout the North Country, we service your complete insurance needs. As a trusted choice insurance agency, we research coverage options from the nation's top companies to ensure that your policy works for you. George M. Stevens Insurance, protecting New Hampshire and Vermont since 1882. Located in the White Mountains of New Hampshire, the Maplewood Golf Club is an historic property offering an 18-hole Donald Ross-designed golf course. It also provides a grand ballroom and parlors for weddings and events, corporate outings, business meetings, accommodations, scenic views, and on-site Ivy Chapel for your wedding ceremony. Now offering midweek and after-hours rates, the Maplewood Golf Club offers an exceptional quality at an affordable price. With a long and storied history, the Maplewood invites you to come and play. What does joy look like? At Santa's Village, it looks a lot like this. Visit a world of pure joy that's closer than you think. Where it's always the season for smiles, for laughs, for family, for reindeer roller coasters and cookies. For a day packed with so much fun, you'll know exactly what joy looks like. 
Santa's Village, pure joy, family style. Covering you at home, at work, and at play, George M. Stevens Insurance is the only local agency to offer personal and commercial insurance, as well as health, life, and financial services. With offices throughout the North Country, we service your complete insurance needs. As a trusted choice insurance agency, we research coverage options from the nation's top companies to ensure that your policy works for you. George M. Stevens Insurance, protecting New Hampshire and Vermont since 1882. Welcome back, everybody. Our halftime show is brought to you by Santa's Village. Find your inner elf at Santa's Village. I like that. The Christmas themed amusement park in Jefferson, New Hampshire. Pure joy, family style. They're open year-round, but especially busy during the holiday season. I definitely love me some Santa's Village. I've been there more than my fair share, so definitely a great place. But for those interested in advertising opportunities, single games or game packages this season, visit flume.com forward slash shop for our online advertising portal on sale this month you can purchase single game advertising for fifty dollars a game valid on any of our upcoming games during the 2022 statewide coverage for more information visit flume.com forward slash shop or send us a message at advertising at flume.com and another shout out for our money ball tonight alberitos restaurant tequila bar they added ten dollars for every money ball and definitely any businesses out there local when you see a flume stream network coming to your school or your town Jump on the backs of this, and then let, let's get some money ball raised. Let's get some uh, local sponsors. It's a great opportunity to get your business out there and to support a great cause. So huge shout-out to Alberitos, and thank you guys for doing that. But, Greg, yeah. we got basketball to talk about. Oh, man, we, well, we, we got $107 in the bank. we got three money balls so far in this game. Yeah. And uh, I'm just really impressed with – I'm, I'm impressed with the uh, Profile Patriots. You know, they're, they're a pretty cohesive team. They move the ball really well. If you notice – they're not making one or two passes. I, I mean, if I counted and I was counting towards the end, they're touch. They're getting like seven, eight, nine touches, and they're getting everybody involved. Everybody too. That's involved. On the court. Nine yep. touches and then a layup. You know, that's that's what you want to see from as a coach. Yep. That's what you want to see. You want to see uh, great distribution and then great finishes, and that's what we're seeing here. And a couple of money balls. Yeah. Um, well, one of their star players is over for what? Over eight, I think it was. Eight. Yeah, and the yeah. money balls, and I mean, that, and he, you know, Josh Roby had thirty-one points the first game, and then now you got someone like Wakeham, who we will look at the stats, but yeah. Wakeham's had a great game. But looking at some points today, Josh Roby is four of fourteen, eight points. Alex Leslie four of five for eight points. Jackson Clough two of three. Uh, with four points, so the team scoring for profile four of five, eighty percent. Yeah, and then. Uh, from the two point, and I think yeah. um, I think they're shooting 50 per, 51 percent from the field from the um, for field goals, and I think they're shooting thirty eight percent from the three point line. Okay, so both of those are really. Well, we know they really hit strong. some money balls for sure. And Profile's next game is going to be versus Pitts Can at home. That's on twelve twelve. So if you're interested in that, go check them out. Yeah, yeah, I, this is a good team. And let's face it, um, Lisbon, the home team, they got some work to do. Yeah, they got to they got to start building. I like the fact they went down to the big man. He he exploited a little hole in their defense in their zone defense down there. Um, one player uh, was going out a little bit too far. He exploited that, stayed on the block, converted a couple of buckets for their only four points. Uh, when they went back to that, what did we see? We saw that they uh, profile adjusted. Yeah, they adjusted and quickly. Stopped yeah. It. yeah, yeah. But that's still you just got to like you say if you're Lisbon at this point, you, you work on the positives, you work on your system. And you just kind of build towards the next game. And every game you yeah. build towards, you'll get better and better. So, you right. know, it's, keep their heads up. Keep shooting the ball. Keep running the offense. Again, like Coach Colville said, play hard. Have fun. So yeah. that's what you got to do at this point. When you're down by 45 points in the first half, now yeah. it's just time to let loose and, and to have some fun and play basketball. Yeah, take some chances, right? you got nothing to lose. You're down, you're down quite a bit. You're down by 45 points. I think we're going to have running time when we get back. Okay. Yep. So I think with a substantial lead like this, we got a minute to go before we start. But I think um, with one minute to go, we're going to go to running time so these, so this um, huge deficit doesn't slow down the game. And, you know. 
Sounds good. That's fair. Well, huge shout-out before we get started to our production team, right? Who we oh, got man. there? We got some of the best in the biz right here. We got the Flume Media crew. We got, let's see, well, obviously you and I. Right. We got James Dugay. He's producing the show. He's uh, been around forever, this guy. I love, I love James. Uh, Chad Fillion. Zach Dickinson on the camera, Charlie Morris on the camera, May de Tromaison. May de Tromaison. De Tromaison, okay. right. I'll get it by the end of the season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a long year. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, great crew, great, great production. And it's been great working with you, Greg, too. That's the first time that we've kind of met, so we got to chit-chat a little bit before, but it's been, been a fun afternoon. Fun oh, evening. yeah, definitely, so, yeah. man. I feel like I make a friend for, made a friend for life. Absolutely. So I'll be sleeping at your house tomorrow night. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> good. Maybe we'll both go crash at Adam's house after this. Oh, that sounds <laughs> even better. Adam reads my money ball. <laughs> no one can do a money ball like uh, him. No, you don't even try. I don't even try. I just, I just fail at it. <laughs> All right, we are back at it. Profile's going to start with the ball first. So I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna count the next time they come down how many touches they get before they uh, before they go. Yeah, before they throw it up. They, they really do a great job of working the ball. There's Another a steal. steal. We'll talk about the defense. They're gonna get a foul. Frustrating reach in. Yeah. Oh, I think the. Well, I think it's on Lisbon. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I thought he said ten, but yeah, it must have been on five. So. So there's one, two. Ah, and, and of and course, there you go, right? there you go. And there's a the money, the money ball. We got another Papa Juan for Alberino. It's another $10 money ball. Papa Juan. That's for Josh Roby. Now he's off the uh, yeah, he's the, one, uh, the offer. Yeah, he's off the offer list, and he just picks up a steal, and he's going to get a layup off this, too. That money ball pot, we ballooned up to $120 uh, for the season. So yeah. that's great. That's only game number two. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Proceeds to the money ball last year, I think they all went to. Oh, this is a nice great pass. pass great inside look. Proceeds went to Colonel Town. McDonald couldn't uh, finish. Moody does get the rebound up and in. Nice. Yep. Colonel Town, right? Yeah, yep. Colonel Town, great organization. They, they you know, they, they help so many kids. Basketball, baseball, soccer. They, they're, a, they're a great entity in uh, Lancaster. So, you know, this money, the money ball that we're getting, it's going to kids. It's going right into sports, youth programs, to keep everything flowing. That's why I encourage uh, local businesses to get involved when this when the Flume Stream Network comes to your town to cover a game. Get a local restaurant or, or a local store to say, hey, just chip in four, five, six bucks, ten bucks, whatever you want to do. Every little bit counts. So, yep. uh, Flume Stream does the three dollars and they they match. But uh, let's uh, let's get some other local businesses, and it's a great oh. opportunity for them to get their businesses spotlighted for the for yeah. that game. That was a great shot, too, and just stepped well, out of bounds. he stepped out of bounds right before, so he, yeah. he cost us a few dollars. There, he did. That's okay, man. These guys are getting some better looks now this, this half. And the first time I said, let's see how many touches they get. Yeah, and then they, now they got to run again. Another money ball. ball. Number 11, that's Carson Roby. We're up to $133, just like that. Wow. Nice offensive rebound. Moody nice. just kind of having his way at this point. You can see some of the other profile players aren't really being too aggressive at this yep. point. Yeah. I'm sure, well, I'm not sure, but I, I imagine the coach is, you know, looking at the scores. You don't want to embarrass a team, you know what I right. mean? You, you play right. hard. You, I mean, it's, it's sport, right? You, and it's, it's yep. varsity sports, too. You, you play and you play hard, but you don't want to get to the point where you're clearly outmatching another team to just kind of rub it in. So right. I think you'll see these starters play a little bit here. Uh, into the third, and then I, I think you'll see the bench guys kind of ride the rest of this. Yep, I agree. This match out. And we got running time, so yep. we got a four and a half, over four minutes, 45 seconds in the third quarter. Again, when Lisbon has the ball, it's very, um, it's not structured, right? It, it's kind of haphazard. And yeah. Always being a, a, a kind of contested by profile, so. The good thing is they're playing aggressive and they've they got a few less turnovers this time around. Yep. Starting the third quarter. That's a good block. Blocked by Roby. You guys are about the same size. K. Roby, Carson, Josh. Thought he was going to try to shoot another one there. 
I've really, I definitely, I've really been impressed with, uh, you know, Leslie and, uh, like this you said, Wakeham. Is another money ball. Another one Number in the 11. Books. That's the other uh, rubby kid, right? That's his second one in a row here. Yeah. And we're, now we're up to 146. Six another money, money ball. ball. All right. Now we're getting some money balls here. Oh, another man. pop of one. Good jing. Right? Good jing. Two John Roberini is going to be calling my phone any minute now. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Slow down with these money balls. I love it. Look at, now oh, we're just running and gunning. Another one. Three. That's, yep. We hit the $100 mark. Wow. So that is our max. No more uh, Alberito's money balls for tonight. That was our max. And we appreciate you guys wow. for really uh, helping us out with that money ball for tonight. Thank, thank you, you to Alberino's yeah, and thank Alberides. you, Johnny. Wow, that happened quick. Didn't it did, it? right? Like, what was that, four in a row? Absolutely, yeah. Bang, now we're up bang, to bang. 159 in the pot. And again, this Great. is only game number two, so we're going to have uh, Donald McDonald here. 172. Wow, and 172 for the money ball. Nice. Starting to put some. Sorry, it's Darian McDonald. Yeah, Darian. They're starting to put name some. Wrong. Put some points on the board now. Looks like we got Tyler Lino's getting ready to check in. Assuming he's going to check in for the shooter. Bob Nelson telling him the rules here. Explaining to him you can't have the sub at a certain point. Doing a little coaching here. Former principal at Linwood High School. Now you can sub. Got Lino coming in for Colby. Did you see who came in for profile? Uh, number five. I think it was Locke, right? Yeah, Locke. Yeah, Everett Locke. All right. Good rebound. Nice rebound there by Clough. Jackson Clough brings the ball up. That's a great good. give and go, right? Oh, man. Just good. Oh, really good. That was uh, Leslie hit nice the ground. Nice rebound. Good take to the hole Four, from this yep. kid. Number 10. Roby bringing it down. And he's going to go straight to the hoop and in. Great ball control. Love the way he protects it. Timeout here. Lisbon, we're going to take a full timeout. 2.35 left in the third. Again, 65 to 12. Yeah, and these guys, they're, all, they're playing a little bit better this half. Lisbon is. They hit a couple of money balls. Got us up there. Maxed out the Alberito uh, donation. Absolutely. So that money's going to be well spent. Thank you, Johnny. That was great. Yeah, and we got 235, like you said, left in the third. Running time once this clock starts. So it's going to go kind of quickly. Yeah. Uh, again, we'll probably see some of the uh, profile go to their bench and get some of the starters out and let them yep. rest. And, again, that was Nothing better than valuable experience for getting your bench players early time, early in the season. Yeah, and they've been, they've been have, doing a pretty good job of rotating some players in. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, Lisbon doesn't have that luxury. They only have they, uh, yeah. two or three players on the bench. We got uh, number 12. Looks like he's going out with a little bit of an injury for profile. I think he had a, looks uh, like he had a bloody nose. Riley Plant. Wow. Start, looks like they're starting a... Uh, same, and almost a starting squad. Yep, same crew still in there for profile. You'll, yeah. you'll probably see them see the rest of this quarter out and then see them. Come this out. is a tough squad right here. The only every one of these kids is pretty quick, right? And agile and athletic and, really and yeah. slice slice in the lane pretty good. Good lateral movement from a lot of these kids. Absolutely. I'd like to see uh, how they fare against some other teams. I look forward to seeing them play again. Yeah. Nice ball oh, into yeah. Moody. Moody couldn't control it, was taken away. Clough. Roby. Roby. Nice kick out. Back to Roby. He's going to go for another three. There you yeah, go. Yeah, he's on fire now. That's a money ball. It's a $3 money ball this time, but we got a money ball. Nice. Looks like 175. Perfect. Yeah, Roby, Roby's hit his last three, like two or three in a row. I know during halftime, Chad told us that, uh, you know, that's usually he's good for a bunch of those a game. And to see him to go 0 for 8 in the first half was uh, yeah. uncharacteristic. So, you know, it's just a matter of time before he gets going. He's you been know, doing everything else, though. I mean, he he's been again. passing great. He's been driving to the hoop. He's been aggressive. Yeah. So I love to shoot the threes. And I had a little motto when I was playing ball, and it was 
shoot till you get hot. Right. And when you're hot, keep shooting. Yeah, exactly. So I never stop shooting. Yeah. I would just chuck it. <laughs> Sometimes you notice that, uh, like the AAU level, a lot of these teams that are the top level teams, their their bread and butter is that three point ball. Like if you can't, there's a dunk. Yeah, Leslie. We had a dunk. Leslie Very nice. Dunk. If you can't uh, hit three pointers consistently, then it's hard to compete at the AAU level. So you do see a lot of that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Look at that. Here I am. Chatterbox, and we get a dunk. Yeah, Leslie. That should have been more exciting. That's interesting because <laughs> when he was uh, when he came down here and got fouled by the other big man, yeah, I thought he was going to dunk it then. Oh, okay. I, I was waiting for that. I mean, I've never really seen the kid play before, but I thought he he, he was sizing it up like he was going to throw it down, and he got fouled. He didn't look too happy. Another <laughs> money there's ball. a money ball. Bro. We got another money ball. He's on fire right yep. now. Absolutely. He's going to start lighting it up. We had number 22 check in for Lisbon. That's Zach Worsler. And we got three more, three more coming in. Yeah, so that's about what we projected. Four, five, no, yeah, they're gonna, five. the whole gonna, five. Yeah, is they're gonna, gonna come gonna out. We, we projected Here that. Comes another see. dunk. <laughs> yep, almost, but just gonna lay it in this time. Yeah, and they're really, up. really been impressed with um, uh, Leslie and and you know, he, he, and, and Wakeham. Those yeah. guys have been played, and obviously and both Roby. the Roby boys. Yeah. Another steal. Might be another dunk. He, oh nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at the coach was not too happy with that. Time. We got five five guys going in, five yeah. guys coming out. We got wholesale swaps here for profile. So, And we're going to go to a break. We'll see you in a few. Just like you means when I walk into the bank, I feel like home. I feel like this is, this is home. It's a family. This is small like me, but it's good like me. Just like you. I know I have the support of the bank, and my clients have the support of the bank. And to me, that just has extreme value. And welcome back, everybody. Lisbon versus the Profile Panthers. I mean, I'm sorry, the Profile Patriots. Lisbon Panthers, Profile Patriots, 77 to 12 in favor of Profile. We've got wholesale swaps for Profile here. We have number 13, Danny Burnell. We have number 30, which I don't have a number for. 31, we have DeMarzo's in. 14. Another one I don't have a number with. I know the profile had a couple guys that were six. So these are probably some of their uh, JV guys maybe that are coming up to help yeah, out. Yeah, looks like it. Uh, Darian McDonald just went strong to the hole and got a nice hoop for Lisbon. Yeah, let's see how these guys. This, you're right. It's probably uh, some of the JV guys getting a little bit of playing time. Some good ball movement still by profile. Some of these teams will have swing players, they call it, for those that aren't familiar with that. And they'll play on both JV, and then they'll uh, get some time every now and again on the varsity squad. So and this is you, a great time to get the swing players involved. Yeah, and you're able to play a certain number of quarters, from what I understand. Right, yeah. Like six quarters, you know, yeah. you split it up either way. I don't know the number exact, but, yeah, there, there is a, a yeah. quarter limit. Yeah. And give their young point guard a little bit of... A little bit of experience handling the ball. Absolutely. Nice move right down the move. middle. Yep, that was Good a ball great move. move. Brody DeMarzo. Bodie DeMarzo. That right in. So we can have another sub for Lisbon coming in here in the next break. Again, we are at running time. We have 640 left in the game. Yep, Carson Robbie. Roby. Carson Roby handling the point. Number 22, Zach Worsler is coming in. And Moody's going to have a seat on the bench. Imagine we'll see Moody back in there again. I don't think he's going to sit for long. I think they're going to keep yeah. him in there. They only, they only have so many options. they got limited numbers. There you go. Bucket. 
Absolutely. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Coach having some fun. Coach is selling his right. plays. Imagine that. Imagine that. A good, great ball movement. Yeah, still. really good ball movement under there. A lot of great movement without the ball, too. Absolutely. These guys are cutting to the, you know, they're making it, creating those openings. We got Carson Colby getting ready to check into the game. He's going again. Oh, just missed it there. That's a nice rebound. Yep. Carson Roby. Oh, just between the legs here on number 30. Sub coming in. Yeah, that was Carson Colby. He is in for Ty Wilino. Coming up on five minutes to go in the game, running time. Just slowing down the offense a little bit, looking for not a lot of, not enough uh, movement without the ball. Kind of hard to get it to a player if they're not moving to get open. All right. Just the opposite of what you see with profile right now, yeah. right? I mean, they're going, yeah. the, the, the floor is well spread. Solid ball movement. Finding the open guy and taking good shots, yep. fr quite frankly. There's a steal by Roby again. Roby. A little reverse layup yeah. up and in. Nice. We're going to call a timeout. The coach from Profile is going to, Mitchell Roy, Coach Roy is going to call a timeout. I think he just wants to get a sub in. Yeah. So he called a timeout and just said, I want to get my sub in and get. Is it Roby that came out? Yeah, so. I think now we all the f starters are out, I believe, at this point. Mm -hmm. For profile. Right. And a three point. Money ball. Nope. Just off. Rebound by Burnell. Burnell's going to bring it up. And down into the corner. Block. 14. Back to Burnell. Burnell. Good ball. See, that's, there's, there's the, that, that's when you wanted the ball movement yeah. uh, numbers, right? So there was at least four or five yeah, there. Five touches. Again, I hope the Lisbon boys keep their heads up. Just keep working the, the process and going through the reps and, and yep. you know, just keep working on their game. That's all they can do at this point. Just have some fun with it and We've said that multiple. That was a great shot there. Yeah, good move. Weaving in and out of some of the defenders. Yep. So it was a bank shot. Hartland called glass. I heard him. 15-footer. Yep. From the stripe. Three. No. Nice passing. That was six. And, I counted and, yep. that time. That was six touches and then a layup. Bodie DeMarzo put that in. So even this, what I would call the B squad, not not derogatory in that sense, but no, the yeah. younger squad, yep. maybe some JV players, even their team, that, that shows good coaching right there. For sure. You know, it's not just these other guys were playing together, but this shows that they're coached to move the ball around. Right. Yep. Gave up the three. He takes the offensive foul there. Yep, that was Brunel. He's complaining he got hit on the arm. Yeah. But not much of a complaint when the score is 87 to 18. Right. So. At this point, we just go through the motions and, and try to yep. focus on the next game. Under two minutes, there's a double dribble. He yep. put it down twice. Thirty left. Good hustle by Patriots. Good bounce pass. Yeah. I love their bounce passes down yeah. low too. 
unselfish at all. Look at that. Beautiful. That's how you get yep. it done. They're down in the paint, you bounce past it. You don't. Absolutely. Holy DeMarzo. I mean, even these guys are guys that don't get, you know, all the playing time like the starters do if it's a close game. So they want to take advantage of these minutes sure. themselves. Even though they're up big, they, they want to have their chance to maybe score some points or get on the stat sheet. Yeah, you, and you build, you build uh, some confidence. For sure. Right? Good look underneath. I think that was more of a pass. Yep. Yep. And he gets hit on the arm. 40, 46 seconds left. Again, it was great working with you today. It was great to be oh. up here. I'm glad to get behind the mic again. Look forward to a great season here at the Flume Stream Entertainment Network. So, yeah, great working with you too, Sean. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna maybe one more possession. Yeah, I think so, and then we'll just go, hopefully. Yeah, really good to meet you, really good to work with you. Yeah. I had a lot of fun, yeah, we yeah. had a lot of fun. We had a lot of money balls, and we uh, wish the game was a little bit closer, a little more competitive, but yeah, still a you know, first, second game of the season for these some of these you know crew, and the, the girls' game was exciting yeah. as well, so I'm sure we'll have plenty of good matchups uh, coming up here in the future, so it's great. Yeah, yeah, I hope we'll work a game, you know, I hope we'll work another game with you soon. Yep. I know I looked at this. I don't remember the schedule, but I think we'll be. Uh, I think we are working together again. Sounds good. Time soon. I'm down for sure. The best uh, streaming service for basketball, for sports. Yeah, and, sports. I even watched. I found Hampshire. myself watching some of the, the soccer stuff, which was great. I don't watch Big soccer coverage. ever, and yeah. I watch. I watch it because it's full media. Yep. You know you're gonna get a good product. So, final score: 89-18. The profile Patriots defeat the Lisbon Panthers. A uh, rough game for the Panthers, you know. Yeah, Keep your was. heads high. Uh, they're they're going to do the obligatory handshake. I think this is a team, the profile of the Patriots, this is a team you're going to see deep in the playoff run yeah, uh, this season. Yeah, I agree. I, mean, this I agree. If they keep getting better. Yeah, the look you know, out. Yeah. yeah, watch out. So, yeah, Sean, Sean, this is Greg Williams, Sean Healy. Uh, let's go through some of the stats for today's game. Um, yeah. Who was the high scorer? So Josh Roby. So Josh, he, he was 23. I, I think he only had eight points at the half, right? So he, then he ended up yeah. with 10 of 19 shots for 23 points. Carson Roby, five of six shots, 14 points. Caleb Wakeham, we talked about him a lot, five of six, 12 points. Yeah. I got to say, um, Leslie Kidd had a dunk. We got to mention yeah, that. Yeah, and he had a dunk. Yeah, you know? for sure. And then for the, uh, <laughs> excuse me, Lisbon Panthers, we have Hayden Moody. He had four of eight shots for eight points. Sean Hartland, two of four shots, five points. Darian McDonald, two of seven shots, five points. So it was a little bit of a rough opening for Lisbon, yeah. but I hope they keep their head high and they keep working the process and, and things will get better. Yeah, kind of think of the positives, take away the positives, and uh, try to forget the negatives and move forward. So thank you for tuning in to Flu Media's coverage of the 2022 NHIAA Division Four Boys Basketball. I'd like to thank our crew here today. I'm Greg Williams. This is Sean Healy. We got James Duguay, Chad Fillion, Zach Dickinson, Charlie Morris, May De Tromaison. De <laughs> I yeah, love it. You're getting it, man. All right. I'd also like right. to give a shout out, special thank you to these advertisers who make today's production possible Jeff and Keith at George M. Stevens and Son, Christine at White Mountains Community College, Jan at Woodsville Guarantees Savings Bank. Jim at Santa's Village and all of our other regional sponsors and supporters. And, of course, thanks to you, our viewers and listeners. Uh, my name's Sean Haley. Thanks for watching. This is the Flume Media Production. Have a good night. Good night, guys.